What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. Um, so I heard a song, I think it's called, uh, it's by 21 Pilots, and it is called Shy Away. And the lyrics are, um, interesting. These lyrics are standing out to me right now. Shed your modesty and the only thing to leave behind is your own skin on the floor. Um, but the lyrics that I was really originally hearing is, uh, Don't you shy away. Um, you manifest a ceiling when you shy away. Okay, so it's like somebody just really needs to like get it. Like I'm hearing, like needs to like go out and do it. I feel like this might even tie in with the reading that I did before this. Um, but, uh, that's just really because I'm, I'm hearing that somebody needs some, uh, tiger's eye to help with their solar plexus chakra. Okay, somebody's solar plexus chakra is, um, a little off kilter. We'll see why. Um, I'm seeing the, um, king of cups in the reverse position in my mind's eye, so maybe somebody had, somebody who was emotionally, uh, abusive and that war on their sacral chakra, um, but in the previous reading it was somebody who was very attractive and uh, attracted a lot of different types of attention, uh, good and bad. So um, let's just pull some cards, but I do feel like somebody needs some tiger's eye to kind of help get them going on something. And uh, the reading that I did before this too, Green Aventurine was recommended, um, and Malachite. So if it's work-related, if you're trying to get something going that's work-related, Green Aventurine would be really good uh, for you if you're trying to manifest Malachi and or Green Aventurine. Let's pull some cards. Okay, yeah, we've got somebody who's very attractive. Okay, somebody who's very attractive and who attracts a lot of attention. And uh, it's, it is probably... Um, can be good or bad, really. Uh, in the last reading, it was sometimes they would attract bad attention because they didn't have, they didn't set really strong boundaries. But I feel like there is like a shift happening. Somebody is uh, really standing in their power and learning how to flow better with the universe and walking away from toxic situations moving forward. This is great energy. We've got some good news coming in. It could be work-related. I think it is work-related. Now we've got the Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody's been working on something for a long time, and it's going to come into fruition very soon. It might even be an online business, something having to do with on, uh, online, something like that. Um... Don't you shy away. Yeah, because somebody needs to take this opportunity. Whatever the opportunity is that is coming towards you, you, you want to be prepared to take this opportunity. Woo! It might even be new love, and it could be a long-distance relationship as well, like in the previous reading. Sorry, my cats are like, they're being funny. They're playing. Woo! Somebody's third eye is open, and, and you are manifesting your best life. I also feel like somebody's trying to manifest you. You're very creative, whoever you are. I'm seeing a bluebird as well. Um, you're very creative, whoever you are. So maybe like some throat chakra. Somebody needs some lapis lazuli. Somebody, somebody sings, I'm also hearing, okay, with the bluebird. Um, Somebody's very creative, but somebody has not been flexing their creative muscle is what I'm hearing, okay? It's it's actually, it's kind of making somebody get caught in their head here. I feel like this is very, like, uh, it's, it, 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 it brings a lot of pleasure, and it is also um, very, uh, it helps to transmute the energy. That's how you help, it, it transmutes, um, that's how you transmute energy is uh, by being creative, whatever whatever you've been doing. Yeah, there's some sort of like a pause that's been put on um, that. So if, you, if you're if you into painting, if you're into writing, 
sketching, dancing, singing, whatever it is, do that. Keep doing that, okay? It's good for the sacral chakra, which uh, will be good for the solar plexus chakra. And again, of course, tiger's eye is amazing, okay? Don't wear tiger's eye when you sleep, though. That's just me. When I wear tiger's eye, it's like drinking a Red Bull. It's better than drinking a Red Bull, actually, because Red Bull makes me all, like, fucks with my nerves. I don't know. Does anybody else get that way? Like, I can't do caffeine drinks. But, um... Yeah, there might be a long-distance relationship. We've got this Aries energy again here. Um, that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. Let's see what else we have. The King of Cups, we've got uh, Scorpio. Um, Cancer Pisces. The Sun card, Leo. I always think of the Sun as a, um, a Sagittarius and Aries, too. Justice. Um... Libra, Queen of Wands, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Seven of Wands. Yes, I feel like somebody's a little defensive. I don't know. They may have come out of some sort of a situation. I think I said, um, yeah, they were exploited in, in, a, in a relationship or in a dynamic. It doesn't necessarily need to be like in a romantic relationship. It could be with a, it could even be like somebody's parents. It could be like uh, a work relationship. You know, um, it, but it could also be a, 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 um, a, um, how do you say? Sorry, I don't know why. It's, it's so weird. Sometimes these messages just, like, come and then they're, they are gone and I, I can't get them back. Um, yeah, somebody's a little bruised up from a situation that, uh, where somebody was trying to take advantage of them. Somebody was trying to exploit them, Okay. Go outside more, you guys. Somebody needs to also open up their windows to air out their house and their space. I know if, if it's, I think it's like 20 degrees here in Michigan. So like even just if you like crack a window or if you just like open a door or you know what I mean for like 15 minutes or an hour or, or even if you just like open up a window and like smudge your house, like I feel like that would really benefit some of you. Yeah, it's kind of like a tough situation. I actually feel like somebody might be like leaving a situation and they're in or they have left a situation and they are they're being guided towards uh, um some new opportunities. So, and I you're being intuitively guided. You, you are highly intuitive. Uh me meditating might be good for you as well. There's somebody who is an empath who's working in a situation that it's just really dip difficult for them. I just heard dip. So I feel like it's almost like, I'm not telling you what to do, but you might want to, if, if you have another, uh, if you have here, the cards say like an online business or something like that, that you are trying to grow or work on, continue to grow that um, so that you can eventually be autonomous. You might be an intuitive, you might, uh, do things with like cards, divination. I'm seeing a lot of crystal spheres here. Uh, reading a book might also help to transmute some energy as well. Just kind of getting lost in a book and that might help you to reset. Journaling too. I feel like somebody needs to journal some things. I'm seeing crows. A lot of crows, butterflies. This is a new beginning for you. A new life. Uh, living in your truth. Living in your authentic self. It's which is going to attract authentic people and people who are like you. I feel like somebody was kind of, um, I'm hearing the word masking, was kind of masking, maybe masking their intuitive abilities, maybe masking, you know, a, a neurodivergent, their neurodivergent characteristics, right? Um, but somebody was masking, and it's, and so it's almost like it was difficult for the universe to align you with your authentic, with, with a partner because it wasn't your authentic frequency, if that makes sense, you guys. I hope that that makes sense. Sorry, hold on, y'all. Okay. Yeah, the world. Uh, this is the end of a cycle and the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, this is beautiful energy. I love it. 
yeah, it's time for a celebration. Again, we've got the death card. I've also got the hermit card here. So that was a Virgo. That was Virgo energy. Six of swords moving, moving forward. Ten of pentacles, great abundance. Ten of pentacles is probably one of the luckiest cards, I would say. I also saw strength with Leo energy, okay? I do feel like somebody is going to be coming in with a romantic message, though, and somebody does want a higher level of commitment. Um, if this was a love reading... Okay, but I do feel like for some of you, it could also just be like a work reading or it's just, you know, my readings are all general readings. So little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. Just take what resonates, where it resonates. You'll feel it in your body if the message is for you. You will feel it, okay? Um, and if it doesn't feel right, it's probably not your reading, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, and uh, if you would like a personal reading, feel free to text me, 616 485 three four seven nine and um, we can set that up I will also leave the listing for um, my personal readings in the description box below um, please feel free to check out my Etsy shop too and um, if you need to pick up any of those crystals that I mentioned in the reading most of them are in my Etsy shop um, that's a great way to help support this channel and I appreciate all of your purchases and donations too um, if you'd like to make a donation, obviously purchasing from my Etsy shop is a, is a great way to do that, but um, I also have my Cash App and my PayPal information down below too. You can make a donation that way. It just kind of helps me to be able to take the time to, to do these readings, to continue to do these readings and put them out there. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm sending you guys so much love. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And until next time, love you guys. Bye-bye.